Congratulations in advance, though. I believe in this film because it has to be good. You two star in it. Paul Feig is the director. I mean, these are facts. <laughs> You're not wrong. And I believe in your magic. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Bless you. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about it because it, the fact that it is uh, it involves Paul Feig behind the camera. It, mm -hmm. There's comedy involved, but it, I mean, what is the genre of this film? Set this up for me a little bit. Can I tell you that's a question we asked each other and <laughs> ourselves every day. Every scene every day was like, what is the tone of this film? What's the movie it's today? really dark and twisted and screwed up, but also it's like fun. We're having fun. But it's not like we were, it's not like the characters were, had jokes. Mm -mm. You know, it's not like, oh, I've got that great joke in this scene. Right. So is it's, it the situations are just a little absurd? The like characters or? are just a bit over the top. Right. Um, yeah. I like would I would, say. I the closest thing that I can think of having seen the film now is like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, where it's okay. like fun, mm -hmm. but it's definitely serious. Yeah. Like there are stakes. Right. And what is the relationship that between your two characters in this one? And there's some twists and turns. How much least. time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are they're best and worst friends. I guess okay. yeah, they're they're the two women that that come together and they're sort of unlikely friends, and then um, and then they are each other's the, the worst thing that ever happened to each other, and then in some moments a really great thing that happened to each other. I wouldn't say the best necessarily, <laughs> but like. <laughs> and and it, it, talk to me a little bit about working with Paul. I'm just curious to see because this is a, a bit of a different kind of a, a film for him, seemingly um, annoying to have a director that's the best dressed person on set at all times. Yeah. Uh, we were in a muddy field, and that was the only time I ever saw him in what was a very crisp <laughs> denim, a very dark, crisp denim with a rolled cuff. Mm -hmm. And it was like I was seeing him naked. He right. was so like, this is, I, yeah. just, I'm, just, I'm a disgusting <laughs> He had to slob. apologize. But he was he still in a blazer day, like, and like a hat and had a cane. Right. And like in a muddy field, but yeah. he was in jeans, so he was like, look away. And he's so stylish, though, that like I was like making like, I don't know, juice with like, there was this like maple water on set. And I was like, oh, water tap from a maple tree. This is exciting. But instead of just like handing him a plastic red cup that I was drinking, out of I like went and got the martini glass a crystal glass and like shook it up for him properly because you can't hand that man a red cup like no. and so he's like standing on a dock with like mud around and he's holding a crystal martini glass and it was just <laughs> juice and yeah maple water but all was right with yeah he world. would not walk into a frat party with a red cup he would bring his own yes. shaker and yes, yes. For sure. monocle yeah. perhaps yeah. Yeah. The, the, crew monocle made, for sure. the crew made him a special apple box it's not that I put on my Instagram that like because the director's always just sitting on an apple box but they painted one with the suit on it it mm -hmm. and like made it all really nice and polished so yeah. that he could sit on it because it was like you can't just sit on an apple box. Yeah, that's no, too. <laughs> of course, it doesn't. doesn't no, that sucker will, will, will pull. Yeah, right? yeah, you need <laughs> to polish wood, that wood. Splinter, yeah. Let's talk about um, your relationship. Was there a relationship before this film? Did you guys know each other? Did you meet at a fancy George Clooney party? I imagine this is what I imagine my, in my brain. <laughs> movie we stars met at meet. a non fancy George Clooney party. <laughs> one, of really one of the really casual ones. ones. Yeah. In a basement somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's really letting himself go. Um, well, I met Blake, I worked with um, her husband Ryan uh, several years ago, so I met Blake a few times through um, Ryan on that film. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, and, you know, and thought she seemed nice, and little did I know. Yeah. Look at the body language experts analyzing this right now. Uh, <laughs> how quickly do you... Out. Don't <laughs> touch me. <laughs> how quickly do you know if you're going to gel with a, a co-star? Is it like day one, you're like... Okay, I'm in this and it's not working or... I feel like it's yeah. pretty rapid cognition for me. Yeah, I, I think you know, but there's some people, like, I've had people who, like, I don't necessarily, like, we're not best buddies at all moments, but, like, we're, do we do well together on screen? And there's some people that, like, we're best buddies and then on screen it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so it, you just never really know. Right. And so, I don't know, but it's fun. But you definitely know once you're shooting, like, who, yeah. who, oh, this who is what it's you gonna gel be. with and, yeah. and who you don't. And, like, and, and that was what's so great about this movie is that the characters on the page can be um, a little bit more, like, black and white. Like, these, these two women, you, we didn't totally understand how they would come together and be friends. But once we got in it, once we started playing, and once Paul sort of created that environment, we stepped into our characters and our wardrobe and saw how over the top we could be in moments and how, you know, honest we could be in others. It just sort of like all came together in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. A any, uh, through the years, uh, have you ever been up for the same role to, to your knowledge? Um, oh. I mean, we're exactly the same type. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I assume that Blake has lost many roles <laughs> to my glamour, beauty, and elegance. Uh, when, so, when you hear my, sorry about it, Blake. My singing voice, <laughs> uh, you know, Anna, Oh, it was neck and neck pitch if, perfect. If, oh, if, into if, the if woods. If I last were to open my oh, chair lungs, boy. she wouldn't have a career. <laughs> so... 
all the sacrifices she's made for me. I really have. You do <laughs> share a number of things in common, though, I would say. I mean, uh, we uh, cooking is something that both of you enjoy to and That's really degrees. the first thing that when you go into an audition, they're like, can you decorate <laughs> a sugar cookie? <laughs> We've got piping bags, go! <laughs> yeah. I was going to say other things, too, but it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a point of reference. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it wasn't like we met and we were like so... Baking, am I right? No, now yeah. I sound like an asshole. Like, oh, the no. two women love baking. Yeah. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying. But you do both love a good cupcake, from what I gather. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are there people who don't? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, like, who really does sorry it? for them. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's not the kind of person Just you want to hang out with. really awful, unhappy people. <laughs> I think we, I mean, I feel like the first stuff that we talked about was very much about the script. Like, because it was a really complicated, layered mm -hmm. script and it was going to be really tricky to get the tone right, right. Mm -hmm. that we we had our work cut out for us. Yeah, and, and because there were so many twists and turns that, that at points we didn't understand and Paul, we would get lost in it. We'd be like, okay, what what does our character know versus what are they pretending letting on like know. they know? And But are they pretending like they know in order to get confirmation, but they don't actually know and they're finding out in that moment. So yeah. just like, and we'd have to diagram it out. So we were, each day we were like, we were very, very serious before we worked. And then when we once would, once we were it. in character is when we were able to have fun, which yeah. is sort of like opposite of what you would think because we were like so stressing before the scenes and then we would get in and like, we'd get to play and enjoy ourselves and be in it. And then yeah. After and it was like, very, okay, like, not, I remember, contest. like, having to come up on the fly, be like, wait, if you say, mm -hmm. yes, I did, and then, and, and then, but it turns out that you're just trying to manipulate me, mm -hmm. and then that will make this thing make sense. And the sense. button thing you came up with, which I don't know what would happen <laughs> if you would have thought of that. Ka! <laughs> we would be like, and to be continued yeah. at the end of the movie, and we would have been like, guys, we gotta come back and, uh... It's like an old school serial. You just things. want to do it in like Well, it was one of those things where it made sense on paper, and then once you said it out loud, there were yeah. things that actually like were like, oh, we didn't have to worry about that. That makes perfect sense. Uh -huh. And then there were things that was like, oh, that's not going to be clear at all. We need to come up with something because yeah. there's like a, there's twists on twists on twists on twists. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to pay attention to this one, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. try hard. <laughs> you know my attention span. Okay, fair enough. Let's talk about some other uh, potential similarities, uh, shared pop cult pop culture reference points for you guys. I want to see because it seems like there are some things you both enjoy. Um, both Potter fans, oh, would you yeah. say? Mm -hmm. Who's the bigger Harry Potter fan? Well, I screwed up and said Horcrux earlier today when I meant Patronus, so, so I feel stupid. like my badge needs to be like Poser. stripped away from me. She was mortified. I was horrified. <laughs> do, do you think that, who, who has, you've both read the books, I assume, mm -hmm. and... I, you don't count as a Harry Potter fan. Okay. You're like, yeah, I'm a huge fan. I've, I've seen, seen all, all the movies. movies. I just want to get my barometer right. I want to see how hardcore we're talking. Yeah, okay. we know about Spew. Okay, have you seen The Cursed Child? No, no. I haven't. I've seen The Cursed Child. Are you supposed to say, like, seen Cursed? It. I've seen like it. I know how to pronounce Potter. it. I'm the only one here that's seen it, okay? Cursed Child. <laughs> Whatever, Josh. Um, no, Did you just bring that up just to no, say that? No, it's the only thing about Potter that I know better than you. Wait, what do you know? That I've seen the play. He's seen Oh, you've seen it, yeah. Well, it just came to New York, so that's exciting. Okay, yeah. fair enough. And apparently, for people who were fancy enough to be invited to the opening night, they turned a restaurant downtown, or I don't know, somewhere in town, into like the dining hall from Hogwarts. Amazing. Oh, that's cool. Would've been nice. Good for you. Yeah. I went to the set, so. Huh. <laughs> I did. Have when you, they were still filming, so. Have you both oh. been, uh, have you both sorted yourselves? Yes. Yeah. On Pottermore. Yeah. Yes. And? Slytherin, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Wait, for Fucking real? obviously. I thought they just said Gryffindor every time. No. Oh, no. For sure Slytherin. <laughs> so good like, about Like, just to make right you now. feel good, you're like, <laughs> they're like, it's Gryffindor. No. I mean, I'm wearing my Gryffindor colors. I was so being, I was being very honest in that quiz. Maybe and I was honest, like, yeah. I think I'm going to get Slytherin, and I totally did. <laughs> and I take it you were Gryffindor, you're saying? Yeah, but like I did the lame one. I did the one at like Universal Backlot where they're like, make my hair Gryffindor. I should be happy. <laughs> It's just like she needs this. Yeah, she needs she really, I really did need it. Yeah. Have I mean, you taken the Pottermore quiz? No. Oh, it's really fun. Really? Yeah, we're gonna do it later. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I sort of want to be in Hufflepuff just because it's like, like it's just like cooler to be like, oh yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. Like everyone wants to be in like Gryffindor, right? I don't know. Sure. Okay, let's go. Let's Ravenclaw. Move. Like that's just the. Okay, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Take it easy, Hufflepuff. Uh, <laughs> but at least Hufflepuff, you're like, oh, okay, no, Hufflepuff. Thank you. That's like a funny thing to say. But Ravenclaw, you're like, man. You're like, I would say you're like smart or something. Cool. Yeah, but like, but you're not like smart and brave. Yeah. Because then Gryffindor would be that. Anyway. Okay, you've anyway. got me. Uh, Disney. Who's bigger Disney? You've been a princess, of course. You've been Cinderella. <gasps> but I know Disney. I know, of the two of us. <laughs> 
That's right. So Jealous. That's, <laughs> that has to be bragging rights, I would assume. But oh my gosh, I would literally like skin her body alive and step into it to be Cinderella. Wait, but I would that's need really her voice. Hardcore. It's a problem. I would like need her voice. I can't be a Disney princess ever. Oh, Muffin, it's so, so hard sad. being you. <laughs> no, but like, I really would really like to be a Disney princess. I'm sure that dream will come true. I'm sure there's Because a, a dream Disney... is a wish your heart makes. It actually, it can't come true. Thank you, one person. <laughs> um, no, it can't come true because Disney, by the way, Disneyland, thanks for this. They're going to never invite me again. They already kicked me out once. Um, but you can't be a princess at the park if you're old for 27 years old. Oh, which is really interesting. Why did they the, kick you out the once? The statistic the I heard question? was that you can't be a Disney princess if you're like over five feet tall, basically, because they want you to be small for the kiddies. Oh. So like all the tall girls. So I could be like Pluto. That's the one there. thing that I. Oh, like. <laughs> oh. Can I ask why, why like you were sons. kicked out once? Oh, because I went to Disney jail when I was a kid, and then I talked about it on Letterman, and then, um, and then like when I went to come back, they were like, "Yeah, we why did you mention it on Letterman?" <gasps> Yeah, I was like, really? What, like they didn't want you to admit that Disney Jail existed? Yeah. Ooh. I know, so now I'm going to get uninvited again. I'm so obsessed oh. with Disneyland. I love you so much. I'm sorry I tell all your deep, deep dark secrets. <laughs> Everybody knows about Disney Jail. I didn't. That's fine. Yeah. Now I do, though. It's like not real jail. It's just Disney Jail. <laughs> just, yeah. let, just let her in, guys. It's, I mean, she needs this again. Like, they don't have the death penalty. I would hope not. <laughs> <I'm> just joking. <laughs> I mean, that we know of. Yeah. Um, we don't know how deep this goes. That's right. This goes all the way to the top. Uh, Lord of the Rings, I think you get the, you're a little more hardcore in that realm, right? Lord of the uh, Rings? I don't know Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. It's okay. Nothing to it's apologize okay. for. She wins. Star Wars? Big Star Wars. Wait, but by the way, you've been like, oh, I think you're the bigger Potter fan. I think you're the bigger Disney fan. Oh. I think you're the bigger. So, like, what? What about me over here? You, you can oh present God, your you guys, own. Like, don't present, fight. Present. Just because I'm the best at everything. So What's your Jeopardy okay, category? Okay, fine. What's I'll your... just sing a quick Cinderella song. <laughs> what would your Jeopardy category be then? What's your expertise? I want I want to give equal opportunity. Oh, I'm not an expert at anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know a couple things here and there. <laughs> uh, comic book movies, you've appeared in one. I That's have one really, this is great. This should be really filling me up. Oh, I'm a trying. really great comic book movie. That one was Oh, beautiful. girl. Good things came from it. Um, yeah, eventually. Hey. <laughs> there you go.